Hey, good evening everyone. This is uh, UCSGS. I am trying to show you guys a new setup that uh, we have in Apple. Uh, we have a really tight squeeze and we have energy on my ready set go indicator that's showing that it's kind of coiled up and ready to explode. And um, what might uh, seem like a potential breakout, uh, intraday breakout, and uh, I really want to take a slice of this uh, tomorrow when the market opens. So I'm actually going to draw a couple of lines here. So the way I would really want to trade this is by um, taking a call back spread here <clears throat> and uh, doing um, put back spread if it happens to break out on the other side. I don't really care which side it's going to break out and I'm going to execute wherever it breaks out and uh, as simple as that and now essentially what the strategy is going to do for you is um uh let's just run a quick scenario of what what are the possible outcomes of the strategy right so the 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 two things that could happen or three things that could happen in this case is this um it could go sideways or it could um rip and run higher or it could go down so, and then possibly have a bounce back up, right? So these are the three scenarios that I'm projecting, but uh, I can fairly eliminate the first scenario, which is that uh, considering the squeeze and the uh, energy that it's got, I do not believe that this is what we're going to see. Why is it not working? I don't believe that we're going to see this. The only two scenarios that I can project is this and this. Um, so um, the way I would really want to trade this is, um, like I said, the back spread. And uh, let me just clean this up a little bit. So uh, the scenario, what I am expecting is that uh, it's going to have initial breakout and uh, tomorrow possibly or within a couple of days and you get executed into a callback spread and as soon as you get in it's going to retrace and uh, what I would be doing is potentially looking for a timing to get rid of my sold side call option to reduce and diminish my risk of holding a call options open so when it is primed up and ready to run back again I'll be holding a really cheap call option to profit from it and the ideal duration considering the um, uh, historical data it's about 70 days and which means it puts us uh, at an expiry date of um, let's just say uh, uh, 19 February 21 apparently it's a holiday oh well 18 February 21 is the day so what I essentially want to uh, uh, do is to trade this with a call and a put back spread with 19 days and provided the implied volatility is going to be in my favor um, I believe I have uh, posted some kind of uh, a hint or how to trade implied volatility skews previously go check out my previous post if you have any questions feel free to ask me but um, the same scenario kind of works out on the put spread as well um, so uh, let's, let's just assume that uh, tomorrow something happens and it opens here and we get executed into a put back spread and a few days later it kind of goes back up and uh, then after a few days once you cover the uh, sold put side of your options you come back and let it run and uh, you can profit within the swings of the market that is the beauty of a back spread if you know how to time it and when to time it right and uh, it um, does require a little bit of skills on intraday uh, to monitor it. I wouldn't go anywhere above one hour chart or below one hour chart uh, to kind of monitor these uh, uh, peaks and troughs. Um, that way, you can um, exit the position without uh, having a without having any uh, bad uh, uh, feel for this uh, trade. 
So um, trust me, I've done plenty of experiment with this and I've lost enough money with this to kind of feel confident uh, right now to uh, play the strategy out. And um, here is the last time when I had uh, such uh, signal, as you can see, a very tight squeeze with a high energy and uh, we had a really good run. And uh, here is another time where we had, a, uh, we can even go here actually. We, where we had an okay run, it's not pretty bad. Um, but in this case, how it would have played out is that uh, you would eventually be closing it out for the credits that you received. Um, not extremely profitable, the previous scenario. Uh, here is another one where uh, you could have gotten into a call and it flipped and then it bounced back. You could make money in that swings or you could have just let it run and collect the credit in this case that you receive from the spread. And uh, you know, there's plenty of ways and plenty of alternatives that you can do with a back spread. And uh, it is a very advanced strategy, but once you understand the basics of options and uh, know about probability of touch, probability of uh, in the money, out of the money, implied volatility, delta, this is easy to execute. If you want a simpler option, I can, uh, the way I would suggest you to trade that is uh, you can go back and check out the uh, BABA Baba trade, Alibaba trade that I did a few months ago. Uh, it would be in a similar fashion, but it would, uh, it would, it would need some time. So I would still stick with the 19 day February uh, to make this work. But in that case, uh, I would try to get into a position um, of an iron condor somewhat tight like that uh, with even money which means um, if I do um, if I do um, say uh, <clears throat> if I do a 113 or 112 let's just say 112 um, I do a 112 and uh, I would do 110 so it's a two dollar wide iron condor on this side uh this one would be 121 i'm just hypothetically stating it but uh, i'm just giving you the criteria of how you have to play it so this is what your iron condor uh, levels are going to be like um you're going to buy the iron condor here and uh, if your uh, spread width is um if the width of your spread is let's say two bucks you want to ideally get into a position for a dollar so that is how you're going to position it it takes a little bit of a um, experiment i would start with a uh, 35 delta um 0.35 delta to kind of see how everything plays out um and then from there you can kind of adjust the legs and kind of play with it to kind of make it break even I mean, it doesn't have to be a strict rule of like 113 and it needs to be one, sorry, 112 and 110. It can be um, 112 and 109. It could be a $3 wide spread and you could get a good deal on that for a dollar fifty. So, you know, you can, you can kind of play around with it. So essentially what you're going to do is you, when you buy that iron condor with such a low implied volatility, you are at uh, a good position here with the, uh, the options expiring until 18th because at some point of time the implied volatility throughout this time frame is going to slowly keep rising which means your uh, iron condor is going to become more valuable um just from the implied volatility and um it's and all you need all you probably need would be is a push like that to make one side profitable and then you can wait for the other side to break even or you could close the whole trade, um, break even, or the other side to break even, or you can wait for it to go uh, the other direction. But um, it requires a lot of management skill, but I would just go with somewhere like if you have a uh, uh, $3 wide spread and you got it for $1.50, I would drop it off at a dollar uh, profit. So um, uh, that that's ideally what uh, I would do. So, uh, so the two options that I gave you is one to do a back spread, uh, whether it is call or put, depending on what you favor, what you like. 
on Apple. If you're going to be bullish, you can buy a callback spread. If you're going to be bearish, you can buy a putback spread. At the same time, if you um, are indecisive of the direction, and you don't understand the back spread, you can go out and buy an iron condor for 50-50 risk and kind of get rid of it like around 60% gain. Um, I think uh, 60 or even 50% gain, that would be even sweeter. Um, you keep doing this over and over again with this particular setup, um, You your portfolio will slowly start increasing. And uh, yeah. So, well, I wish everybody a good luck and a good evening, and I'll try to keep myself a little uh, more regular with my videos and uh, how to use my uh, indicators and obviously have uh, some setups and things that I'm working on. But uh, uh, good luck, guys, and uh, 